Hello everybody, this is Enrico De Pauli and this is the Mix Secrets TV YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you a new plugin, at least new for me. Um, I haven't been using this, uh, actually I haven't known this until just recently. Um, it's called Blind Test. Um, although it's very simple, a very simple and straightforward plugin, it really has changed or has really helped the way I, I like to work, which is really trusting my ears as opposed to, to being biased by the price of the plugin I'm using or being biased by whatever version I'm comparing. The blind test allows me to compare any number of tracks without knowing what I'm listening to. So let's jump right in to a Pro Tools session and uh, I'm going to show you how that works and what it does. Okay, so I have a mixing session here, which is in the works. And uh, these in yellow are my subgroups. And I have drums, bass, harmonic instruments, vocals, and effects. These are the subgroups, the stems from the whole mix. You probably noted uh, that um, we have two drum subgroups. It's because I already uh, doubled the uh, this subgroup. Because, uh, this is what I'm going to be using to uh, to make a blind test comparison. So I'm going to be uh, working on the sound of this first subgroup. But let me just show you first what the blind test plugin is. This is it right here, and I inserted each uh, one blind test instance in, into each track I'm comparing. So you can, since they are inter, inter, interconnected, you can already see you know, both uh, subgroups, drums and drums uh, duplicate, they already show here. It's where they are, uh, the uh, blind test is inserted. So I'm gonna solo uh, the first stem and uh, let's take a quick listen to it and I'm gonna make a few tweaks here on the EQ and compression. Let's say I'm pretty happy with this, but I want I want to try something else. You know, I want to I want to keep this, and then I double the the the, uh, the subgroup to a new one, so I can start doing new things. And uh, for that, I'm gonna solo the second subgroup, and uh, I'm gonna make a few changes here. Now I'm only listening to the second subgroup because it's it's uh, it's soloed inside the blind test plugin. So let's go. Okay, let's say I like what I have, but I'm not sure which uh, which version I like best, the first one or the second one. These could be two different mixes, could be two different uh, vocal tracks, I mean the same one with different processing, could be two different versions of a master. Uh, it could be any two or more things that I would like to compare and blind test them without being biased by looking at what I'm listening to. So I'm going to open the uh, whichever instance of the plugin. It could be this or this. They are interconnected, so they will show exactly the same thing. And I'm going to cover. I'm going to resize the plugin so it can cover any 
visual interference, so I don't know, you know, what I'm what I'm listening to. And when I click on these dices, you see what happens. No, it, it's scrambling the two tracks, and uh, now I don't have the names anymore, and I can solo blind solo them, so I can make notes and give grades to you know to whatever I I, I hear and you know if I like and I can I can just take notes of what what I like best what I like worst so let's let's go. So this I'm going to give a three, this I'm going to give a four. I don't think none of them are totally done. And this is to MIDI and this is nice and hi-fi, let's say just two, two notes so I can, I can relate to them once I know which tracks they are because I don't know what they are yet. Again, I could be comparing two mixes, you know, with my client and uh, without knowing which is which, is which, you know, and then I, we would be letting the ears decide which is the true decision right there. So uh, when I click show tracks, I see, you know, the, the tracks that I, that I named, that I gave uh, uh, notes and grades. Okay, so this is blind test, very, very useful, very useful. And you can even adjust um, gain compensation if you have like a two masters, one is a little bit louder than the other one. Or if you're comparing a mix to a master, you can compare any number of tracks without knowing what they are. So this is blind test by Hofa. I'm Enrico De Pauli. If you like this video, please subscribe and uh, don't forget to like the video also. Um, I see you soon. Enjoy your mixes and masters and music. See you soon. Bye-bye.